Let's do a calculation that shows the difference between Newton's first and second law. Here's an object, a 70 kilogram freight, and I'm pushing it across the kitchen in my house. I'm pushing with 200 Newtons, and I want to know what the force of friction is. Well, if it's moving at constant velocity, it's going to be one thing. If it's accelerating, it's going to be another. Constant velocity, as soon as you see that, uniform motion, constant velocity, bells should go off in your head. What that means is Newton's first law applies because when the forces are balanced, you have constant velocity. And that makes things really easy because if it's constant velocity, Newton's first law and the forces are balanced, whatever forces are forward have to equal whatever forces are backwards so that it'll maintain constant velocity. So I'm moving it across at constant velocity. I basically have the 200 Newtons I'm pushing and I have the force of friction. Constant velocity means Newton's first law, the forces must be balanced. This force to the right must be balanced by the force to the left. You could use Newton's second law and say F net equals MA, but it's going to be zero. The net force is going to be zero. So 200 minus the force of friction equals zero. The force of friction must be 200 Newtons to the left. When the forces are balanced, all you have to do is maintain that balance and it will continue at constant velocity. Now I know when you push a fridge in your kitchen, when you first start pushing it, you have to push a lot. Part of it's due to friction, the way friction works, but part of it is the fridge is at rest, you want it to start moving, it's got to accelerate. You need an unbalanced force. You're going to have to push with more than 200 newtons to overcome the 200 newtons of friction. I'm going to have to push with 230 newtons so that I've got 230 forward. 200 of friction, I have 30 newtons left over, I have an unbalanced force, the fridge is going to accelerate that way. Once the fridge starts moving, then all I got to do is push with 200 newtons to cancel out the friction and I will continue moving. So I need more force to start it moving and then all I have to do is balance the force to keep it moving. Okay, now I want the fridge to accelerate at 2 meters per second squared because at the beginning I want to push a little harder to get it moving. So how hard do I have to push? The applied force, how big is that, so that it will accelerate forward at 2 meters per second squared. Okay, that means I'm pushing forward with the force, and there's a force pushing, pushing back of 200 newtons. So how much must I push forward to overcome friction and get an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared? So I use my Newton's second law formula. Because Newton's second law applies. It is an unbalanced force, it's causing acceleration, so F net equals MA. So I have my force forward minus 200 equals M, 70 times A2. So the applied force equals 140 plus 200. I have to push with 340 Newtons to the right to get it to accelerate. So with uniform motion, they're going to add up to zero. With acceleration, I need to push harder.